Hey, Dorothy, we're ready for you. Okay, I'll be right there. I'm ready, boys. Isn't this a great way to start off season two? <laughs> Didn't have this kind of opening for season one. <laughs> Look at this set of my live studio audience. Hi, guys. Discuss that and more is Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Court. Hi, I'm Dorothy Cassisari, and welcome to season two of Celebrity Corner. Wow, it's good to be back. Is that a studio audience that I see? <laughs> So much has happened between the end of season one and season two, and I want to share it all with you. Um, first of all, let's see, everybody was waiting to hear about my wedding. Well, I got married, <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, it all went off great. I mean, we had an amazing time. We went on our honeymoon to Africa, which, of course, you know I talked about last season, and I'm going to be showing you tidbits from the wedding and from the honeymoon later in the season. I was pretty sad to leave you in season one, but... The weekend after we wrapped, I had my bachelorette party. My girlfriends and I and my sisters went up to Newport, Rhode Island. There's a picture of us with our candy-colored wigs. <laughs> they called it Dachlorette. Uh, and then there was uh, what my husband likes to call bachelorette number two, which was really just a girls' weekend out in Vegas um, three weeks before my wedding, just so I could escape the madness of wedding planning. We went to the Chippendale show, and that's how I got my inspiration to bring those hot shirtless guys from Payback Model Management on the show today. Right? Give them a round of applause. Were they cute? So lots of amazing things have, have happened, but now we are here and there's no better place I'd love to be. So let's talk about season two. Not only will we be airing Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. in the Philly market on WMCN and also on my website, DorothyOnTV.com, just like we did last season, but for season two, we're airing in a new market. Yes, we are airing in New York City! We'll air Thursdays in New York at 6.30 p.m. on WVVH in the number one TV market, the largest TV market in the country, adding 5 million homes to the nearly 3 million homes in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware we currently air in. I mean, I'm no math whiz, but that brings our total reach to nearly 8 million homes. <laughs> Thank you. And in two of my favorite areas in the country, the Philly, New Jersey area where I was born and raised, and New York City and outer boroughs where I live currently, so we're so excited. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, what about all these amazing smiling faces in my audience? I have a live studio audience, this is amazing. So hi everyone, I would love to talk a little bit of celebrity gossip, because last season I didn't have anyone fun to talk to. So, can we talk a little bit about Madonna at Sunday's Grammys? Who watched the Grammys on Sunday? I mean, what was Madonna doing? You know, I look at her face and I think to myself, what does she have to prove by showing up on the red carpet with a grill in her mouth? I thought that those were only reserved for rap stars and thugs, but no, Madonna's wearing one. So um, anyway, I, I don't know if Madonna's having a midlife crisis or what it is, but I would love to hear from somebody in our studio audience. Jackie, do we have somebody? I'd love to hear uh, what your takes are on Madonna. Yeah, I definitely agree with you with the midlife crisis. Um, she kind of looks just a little bit out there. Doesn't look like her, you know, she just, doesn't seem to be herself. I mean, we always knew that she did crazy things, right? right? But do you think that this is just going a little bit too far? I mean, she looked like the Quaker Oats guy. Remember the <laughs> Quaker Oats guy from the package? Yeah, I, I definitely agree. A little bit too far and just kind of took away from, you know, some of, some of her other nice outfits that she usually has and shares. So. And how do you think she sounded? Do you think she sounded all right? Um, she didn't sound like herself and just kind of, you know, the cane and all that she had, that she had, it looked like she was almost holding herself up. <laughs> yeah, point. I mean, did it you was... notice how she, she was dressed to match her younger son? I mean, if you're, if you're getting dressed to go to one of the biggest award shows and you're matching your son, who's what, eight years old, I think, I mean, you got to get a new mirror. You know, yeah, you really do. All right, bizarre. well, thank you so much. I wish we could talk more to the studio audience. If you want to be part of our live studio audience, email celebritycorneraudience at gmail.com for free tickets, and I hope to see you. So who's watching the Super Bowl this weekend? I especially love the parties, uh, probably more than the football, and the snacks at those parties. And we're going to get our live studio audience ready for the big game and send each of you home with a bag of my favorite snack, pop chips. <laughs> 
Pop chips have all the flavor and less than half the fat of fried chips, and you don't end up with those greasy chip fingers. Ugh, I hate those, they ruin my manicure. If you're looking for something special to whip up for the big game, visit the Pop Chips blog for party recipes from celebrity trainer Jillian Michaels. Like almond and Pop Chips crusted chicken, that sounds like a fun appetizer to bring. And viewers at home, we have not forgotten about you. Pop Chips is giving one lucky viewer, get this, a three month supply of snacks delivered to your home or office. Simply tweet. Simply tweet at Dorothy on TV with the hashtag bring the fun and tell us how you plan to bring the fun in 2014. We'll choose one lucky winner after tonight's show. And remember, with pop chips, no resolutions required. We are definitely bringing the fun tonight on Celebrity Corner, and I cannot wait because we are kicking off season two in a big way. Coming up, we have Mob Wives creator and executive producer Jennifer Graziano here in the studio, along with her sister, Renee Graziano, star of the hit VH1 reality show. I know, right? We're so excited to see them. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, we're going to learn how to make some easy cupcakes. That's the important part. And everyone has been asking about my wedding. So later, we're going to show you a sneak peek into the big day. I mean, the photos aren't really enough. We have to give you maybe a little taste of a video. Anyway, stay tuned. Back with the Graziano sisters in just a bit. Can't wait to see you then.